previously on the X-Files. Why Agent Wilmore? Why Agent Cook? You picked a great day to be late. There's some big gun in from D.C. I don't know what's up, but it looks serious. Two of my agents are missing, Fox Mulder and Dana Scully. Where were they last seen? All I have is this travel requisition which shows that they were going to Everett, Washington. Have they disappeared before? No, not like this. The bullet passed through. The victim may only have been injured. What do you think that powdered lead is being used for? I don't know, but if it's some form of contraband, it might help to explain Mulder and Scully's disappearance. What's your name? James Wong. You think Wong is involved? I don't know. Did you get the sense that he knew more than he was telling you? He's definitely hiding something. I want you to be in surveillance on that warehouse tonight. That fisherman you interviewed yesterday, he's just been shot to death. You better check with Detective Astadorian. Special Agent Craig Wilmore, FBI. FBI? What's the Bureau's interest in this case? What's the Terracon? I have ocean-going tug. By the time they arrived, it was too late. The entire crew had burned to death. This looks interesting. Looks like Cyrillic. Seattle PD has a task force investigating smuggling out of the former Soviet Union. John, it's Craig. I need a set of prints lifted. Ooh, field work, my favorite. Truett from the coroner's office just called. They've completed the autopsy on Mr. Wong. She's found something you ought to see. Slug or the drugs didn't kill him. This man would have been dead within a matter of weeks anyway. There was a case a couple of months ago, a fire at sea, the... The Terracan, sure. I remember it. You're the second FBI agent to ask me about that this week. There were a pair here the other day, a man and a woman. They had the bodies of the Terracan crew members exhumed. She insisted on performing a second autopsy. What's going on here? Uh, I think someone's stolen the bodies from the Terracan. Oh, what the hell have we stumbled onto here? I'm going to have to demand that we cooperate fully with one another. Okay. You just got yourself a new partner. What are you doing? Oh man, I don't know what the hell's the matter with me. I'm losing it. I've been being followed by two guys in a sedan. Why were we being followed? I don't know, but whoever's involved in this case isn't afraid of the FBI. So why were your fingerprints down on the Terracon? What? The Terracon. It's an ocean-going tug. Burned its... <laughs> I know what it is. What do you say? Figure out how come your fingerprints were found on a ship that's been involved in 10 deaths, two disappearances, and you should probably never even have heard of. All right, I may have left a set of prints, but that's all I did wrong. I assumed the crew were smugglers, right? I, that's what my report said. If they've seen my report, then someone in the bureau is involved. I better get out of here before my car is spotted. Okay, I gotta get to a stakeout. At the warehouse? Yeah. Watch your ass. What is up guys, Chris here from MVT and welcome to part 2 of my walkthrough for the X-Files game for the PlayStation. I hope you like my little recap I put together trying to make it feel like it was uh, an episode of the X-Files as much as possible and I'll kind of explain more about how I did that in, in a little while. Anyway, um, yeah, as you can see I'm wearing my uh, Broncos t-shirt in honor of the Broncos winning tonight's Super Bowl 50 game. Oh my god, that was amazing, I swear they played much better this year than they were previously. So, uh, yeah, I I really saw there was a lot of teamwork involved, and they really were on their A-game. So that, I must say, right there. So, yeah, um, as soon as I'm done, actually, with this walkthrough, I'll actually begin working on my second recap for my final piece of my X-Files game walkthrough, then moving right on to Resist or Serve. And that's actually the one I've been most... I would say been really really looking forward to but the X-Files game has been a lot more eventful than I actually expected so yeah uh, let's go ahead and get started here get back to where I last saved Okay, so from the previous events, we find out that Cook was hiding something, and not to mention on the fact that, well, he is not what he seems. On the fact that, you know, we think he's a bad guy, we think he's a good guy, we really can't determine on right on which side he's really on, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. So we are on our way to the second sighting at the Dockside Warehouse. This should be pretty interesting. Oh, wow. 
the hell is this truck doing there? Let's see what's going on. And there's Craig. What's this? There's definitely gotta be something interesting in the glove box. What do we have here? Clay's Barbecue. RR 1121 82 Hmm. Wonder what this could mean. Oh shit! Time to make myself scarce. Dang, that was a close one. Let's check around. See if we didn't miss anything. Of course, we've already been here before, so... There's no surprise on that. Get my night vision goggles. None different from before so far. Might just be it as far as checking out that truck. Let's check upstairs. Nope, that's pretty much it. Looks like we are done here. So let's make our way out. All right. Now I wonder why that truck driver was there. So we'll find out soon enough. Back to the apartment we go. Though <laughs> this is actually where we first started our walkthrough off. We started. Right. And to bed we go. Who could be at the door? I wonder. Do I? Well, hello, Miss Asadoria. What's the matter with you? What should you be night. doing here this time I didn't. of the morning? What time is it? Almost noon. We have a burn victim, and the injuries appear to match those sustained by the crew of the Terracon. I have the whole thing on tape. Say what? Let's rewind it. Hey, it's not flashing what midnight. She have? Impressive. I like a man who's not afraid of technology. <laughs> well, I mean, he's certainly not looking forward to seeing that. All right. Let's see. How do you know about the Terracon injuries? I got the original autopsy report, so I have them if you want to see them. Good for her. Who's the victim? A John Doe. He was a truck driver for Gordon's Hauling in Charno. Where did you get the videotape? 
surveillance cam at the gas station. It's not great video, but it still shows the thing. Thing? What thing? Uh, you'll see. What time did this occur? 6.17 a.m. this morning. That could be Mulder's rental car. Same make. That must be Mulder. That looks like Mulder. Have you seen him? No, just photos. That guy was at the warehouse last night. Different truck. Same company, Gordon's Hawley. China, Washington. What the heck? So, what do you think? What was that? I have no idea, but his injuries are identical to those from the Terracon, and all of the gas station's electronic equipment stopped working. So what do you think it is? Well, I have several theories. But let's see here. No idea. Weapons of some sort. Yeah, this would definitely be it. That light looked like it was coming out of that man's body. Yeah, it did, didn't it? So what the hell was that all about? Ooh, a fax. Sounds like you have a fax. The body's over at Truett's right now. I'm gonna head on over there and see what she's found out. Oh, I got that Cyrillic document translated. Get this, it was a payroll log. And guess who was on it? Wong. No surprise there. He was paid almost $30,000 in the last two months, so I am convinced that the murder was mob-related. Uh, I guess we'll because soon you find him. out if it is mob-related. I I don't believe I'll it is. I'll turn the case over to the task force. Especially on the fact that we found the, uh... CGM's signature cigarette bud really right there next to his body so yep okay let's see what it says here to Mary Asadorian from the Seattle investigative lab evidence regarding the Russian log and the journal that we found dear detective Dorian, the log and journal that you dropped off has been translated from Cyrillic the log appears to have been used for some sort of payroll, most likely for the crew. The journal belongs to the captain and recounts days at sea. Let's see here. Yep, there it is. James Wong, 2200. Another 2200 again. And here's the journal. This is interesting. Fifth day out, crewman has recovered significantly to take his meal with the crew. No explanation for ailment. None of us are medical trained to diagnose from infirmary stores. Medicines of this type to do little harm than good are available to me, but of little use beyond the mildly solitary. Nothing so far. Ah, here we go. Last entry. Long lasting remained in darkness for extended time before moving off port side and eventually disappeared. An event an eventual disappear. Disappearance? If I'm looking at that right. Oh, anyway. Northern Sky was flowing with the attribute of Aurora to Aurora Borealis, though this other light was not similar and unusual. Strange, through all things we have explanations, ship stores are adequate, and we make port in darkness tomorrow. Crew growing anxious to be assured to partake in pleasures in U.S. I admit to the same desires. Dinner tonight, alas, includes cabbage rolls for the last time. Yay! Crew rejoices. Most want American McDonald burger or Dick's 
burger in Seattle. For me, pizza and beer with vodka chasing. That I would agree with. I would definitely be down for. And nothing about longitude and latitudes. So nothing about their encounter prior to them burning to death. Alright, so... Let's come back to Miss Ness. Whoa, what's this? Oh, shit. Municipal Court of King, State of Washington, Barman, Marie Stanfield, one more. Craig Joshua Wilmore. Oh, damn. I thought they were separated. I guess this pretty much changes everything. And here's uh, something regarding their child. That the child, Elizabeth Ann Wilmore, will be held in joint parental custody between Craig Wilmore and Barbara Wilmore with primary custody with the natural mother, Barbara, and co-custody with the father, which is, of course, Craig. And, of course, uh, this has been stipulated. The father will have visitation privileges as agreed to by both parties to include, but limited to two weekends per month and for two weeks to be determined by joint agreement by parties. Dang, this sucks. I thought they were separated, but yeah, this definitely changes things. Okay, let's get back to what we were doing. Ah, this must be from John. Here we are. Let's see. Evidence, lead container, control number. Okay, here we go. Age of Wilmore. The above noted evidence has been examined by our laboratory, and the following conclusions can be drawn. This is industrial grade lead container of undetermined manufacturer properties used for the transportation of hazardous nuclear materials. What? There is a reduced level of radiation remaining inside the interior storage portion of the container. This radiation has been determined to be hazardous to humans under prolonged exposure. Oh shit. That's one hell of a container. All right, so let's see here. This item will be held for 48 hours at the crime lab before returning to FBI evidence control. Well, thank you, John, for that amazing update. Now we can get back to Miss Asadorian and see what she can make of any of this. So, what's the connection with Gordon's Halling? You mean, why was a Gordon's hauling truck both here and at the warehouse? Yes. Yeah. They were involved in the smuggling. Where's the truck? Totally empty. I've got an evidence crew going over it right now. Well, that was quick. And... What did the man from Charno want with Mulder, assuming that was Mulder? I don't know, but whatever it was, it didn't look friendly. Who was he? Don't have an ID on him yet. He was very badly burned. What about uh, Gordon's Holland? Can somebody over there ID him? Nobody answers the phone. And apparently there's no one on the premises. I sent a Duval County Sheriff over there. No luck. <laughs> Figures. We need to focus on Mulder and Scully. Where are they? All this, this voodoo with flashing lights and burnt corpses is not the case we're here to solve. I don't agree. If we can understand what this is about, then we can find your missing agents. I like your thinking there, Asadorian. Thinking outside the box. Where does Terracon fit into all this? Obviously, they were part of the smuggling. Either they fried themselves mishandling plutonium, or someone had them killed. Okay. Get rid of this.
Well, that settles it. They're smuggling plutonium. God, we have to stop this. They could kill a lot of people. Okay, cowboy, let's go. We're burning daylight. <laughs> <laughs> to the coroner's office to get the autopsy reports on the burn victims. I agree. I think we should check out Gordon's hauling first. In Charno? Yeah, it's probably a good idea. It's four hours away, but then we can hit Truitt's on the way back. Hey, I was just trying to think on the fact that Gordon's hauling may be more important than the body, because we could probably find out who actually works there. You know? Follow up on this lead before going back to the coroners. Alright, so... Coroner's office. King County Medical Examiner's Office, Seattle. Shit. Gotta hate coming here. Of course, Ducky from NCIS would never see As near as that. I can tell, this man wasn't burned to death in any ordinary sense. I mean, as sense. I previously recall, he, all the he enjoys the company of the dead. Hiroshima like radiation exposure. Alright, let's take a look at this man here. Damn. This guy's been burnt to a crisp. Alright. Anything important on table? Nope. Anything over here, perhaps? Whoa. What do we have here? So if we circle for a reason. The anatomy seems the same. Strange there. Wow. Severed hand. I wonder why the heck they're keeping it in a jar. Who knows? Okay, I think we're done exploring. Let's talk to the medical examiner. What makes you think it's radiation? Well, first off, I don't know much about it, but he was burned from head to toe. Literally. Fire damage never does that. Secondly, I cut his clothes off him. They were pretty much undamaged. You see this? That's the imprint of the logo from his shirt. That's caused by thermic rays. Similar effects were observed at Hiroshima. Kimono patterns were burned into the skin of the wearer. Inverse shadows of objects were permanently etched into walls. Okay, that definitely sounds like Iron Man 3. Are there any similarities between this and the Terracon victims? The effects are almost identical. We didn't figure it out with the Terracon because, well, it really didn't occur to us. I mean, this is highly unusual stuff, you know. Sometimes we don't see the extraordinary even when it's right in front of us because... We just weren't expecting it. Any leads on the missing Terracon crew? No. Whoever did it was good. They got in here, got the bodies without leaving a trace of any kind. Of course, they're the men in black. They can pretty much make themselves disappear if even if they wanted to. They'd be literally in plain sight, and we would not even know it until someone literally points it out. Could mishandling radioactive materials cause burns like this? Again, I don't think so, but I don't know much about it. Mishandling radioactive materials might account for Mr. Wong's tumors, but a burn like this would have to be a blast of some sort. Okay, so... Nothing from Macedorian. Nothing here. All right. On to our next location, Gordon's Hauling. Now I wonder what we're going to be finding there. Well, they're obviously not very security minded. I know, with all oh, this nice, nice stuff around they too. The it's the same us. truck from the warehouse. We're obviously in the right that place. was done by accident or deliberately.
After you. Dorian? <laughs> I am Gordon. Clever. So, Gordon's not really a real name. It's a fictitious name for their front. Interesting. I am Gordon. Hello, Mr. I am Gordon. <laughs> what can I do for you today? <laughs> Studs? <laughs> what the? Eh, nothing here. Must be a name of a team. The Studs. Ah, it's Seattle Studs. Okay. That makes perfect sense. So let's get back to my area. What we have here? Shovel? Wire cutters? Hmm. Nothing here. Was. Come on. There we go. Whoa, what do we have here? Still dual shock. What do we have here? Another payroll log? Okay, I found what we're looking for. What is it? Look at this. It's a manifest. It details a number of shipments oh, between manifest. the uh, dockside warehouse Close and enough. The rural Route 1121 in Fanta County, Washington. I guess I know where we're headed. This wasn't a wasted trip after all. Great, let's get out of here. Yeah. We're locked in. That door is really. Oh my god. There's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here uh, now. No, duh. I mean, the fact that it looks like it was wired to something outside. Shit. This window's wired to the bomb. Everybody out! Double time! Well then. Should have seen that coming. 
being the good detective I was. And it looks like someone's under the control oh, of the black oil. Times like this, I wish I still smoked. Are you alright? Oh, yeah, I find things like this quite bracing. Dang. So I guess you're gonna want me to drive. <laughs> that would be a nice gesture. I never survived the bomb before. Yeah, well, it happens to me all the time. Who was that guy? He was incredibly strong. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. You think he works out? There was something weird about his eyes. Did you see that? No, I was too busy being knocked across the room to catch that little detail. Oh, I definitely saw something there. Nope. This would definitely be the best response. He seemed... There was something wrong with him. Almost like he was being controlled by something. So, who owns the hauling yard? Duh, Russian mobsters. <laughs> and this? I guess we know why the gate was left open. You mean it wasn't just small town coziness? <laughs> no. The gate was left open so somebody would get in there and set that bomb off. Yeah, but was it meant for us or that guy? Good question. Guess we'll never know, really. That gate was definitely opened for a reason. Left gun unguarded and unprotected. And that. Was the bomb meant as a trap or was it protecting something in the office? Like what? Information in that log book? The rural route address, for instance? Well, anything in there would be pretty hard to read now, that's for sure. I think the bomb was meant to trap and kill somebody. <sighs> Are you ready to go? I sure am. You're driving, remember? <laughs> These two could definitely be in my opinion, the next Mulder and Scully. And they're probably Mulder and Scully in their own unique way for the game, so it makes it makes perfect sense why uh, Mulder and Scully aren't like the main characters for this particular game. Alright, so... Back to the apartment we go. Well, that was an eventful day. Find out we have another Terracon victim, though he's not related to the Terracon, but has the same injuries as the crew members did. And the fact that we end up going to a hauling shipping and distribution area to only find out that it was being a front for something even more than just shipping and distribution. So. What we have here? Journal. Hmm. March 30, March 31st, 1996. This work I'm doing is getting frustrating. I have been beating my head against a brick wall trying to get a resolution to this case. Militias are a precious force in America, and they will become even more dangerous and enjoy greater measure of success as long as ignorant signs. No. Sorry. Ignorant citizens allowed them to flourish. Last week, after a protracted legal battle, seven members of the Lightning Strike Brigade from Redmond were bound over for trial, charged with conspiracy, tax fraud, bank robbery, federal weapons, violations, bomb making, and possession of explosive devices, despite the efforts of their lawyers to derail the grand jury proceedings. Amazingly, I cannot believe these sharks. After all, the Bureau did, including gang cooperation, did some... did that take some doing of the state authorities and county sheriff to bring these guys in and wrap them up in a ironclad case. Good for you, Craig. Courtesy of some fine Bureau work, thank you. You think these lawyers would just resign themselves to trying the case in court? No, they are on TV on the TV news every night, decreeing the persecution of their clients who are patriots and true Americans, the frontline warriors against tyrancy, etc., etc. Hmm. Let's see what else is going on. Oh well, here's something regarding its daughter. I haven't seen Elizabeth in the past two weeks. Missed her last visitation last weekend. Tied up at work again. And now Easter is coming. I don't know if I will 
have a chance to see her then either I'm putting this all aside for now it's late and tomorrow is a fresh sheet of paper maybe I can get something positive accomplished It seems like Cook and uh, Craig are pals, though I don't know what Cook's true intentions are, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. End of day three. Okay. Hopefully Cook's not on the floor like he was before. Or something worse. Whew. That's close. Actually, let's see if he's in his office. Nope. No surprise there. computer to see what we have new you've got mail thank you sexy voice I will most certainly look at not concerned about the APB considering what cook is dealing with right now oh here's something agent Wilmore here are the phone numbers for majestic shipping good luck getting hold of anyone Include the country codes as well. Let me know if you need anything else. Dan Zerlin. Oh! He's the other gentleman I've spoke to about what was going on with Wong. The Harbor Master! Yeah, that's right. He's the Harbor Master. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Just make sure of that. That's definitely him. The Harbor Master. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Okay. Shakes his eye in his office. Surprise, surprise. Hey, buddy. Good well, morning. there's Cook. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I cracked your case for you. What are you talking about? Evgeny Smolnikov, known head of a ring of Georgian smugglers. And I have a witness who placed him at the dock the night of Wong's murder. I ordered surveillance on his little oh, love shit. nest, and since this morning, we've accumulated enough evidence to warrant a raid. We leave ASAP. The SWATs are joining us at the site. No need to thank me. Okay. What about Astadorian? You should call and tell her what you're doing. I agree. Done. Already left her a message. I'm the Martha Stewart of crime prevention. And if she gets her tookers down here before we leave, she's welcome to play too. Hmm. Well, thank you, Cook. Why didn't you tell me about this? I was going to tell you. But the evidence just opened up this morning, and now we're going in. And besides, you were pretty much out of pocket yesterday, if I recall. You have a warrant? What do I look like? Mark Furman? <laughs> yes. I have a federal warrant from a federal judge. Okay. Anything else? Who's the witness? What witness? The identified Smolnikov? Oh, yeah. Fred Kohler, 56, indigent. 
was sleeping under a tuna net not 50 yards away from the murder. Heard and saw everything. I'd like to question him. Sure. Whatever you want. After the raid, he's all yours. Now let's go. Well, this seems interesting. Well, he's already got himself lock and loaded, so I guess we're heading over to where this gentleman is. Just look for this. Smolikov. Oh, well, I thought we could look at it. Oh well. Time to head to where this guy is. Smolikov's warehouse. This should be interesting. Rainer Cold Storage, Seattle. Oh boy. This is definitely gonna get interesting. Where's the backup? The Cold Seattle PD SWAT boys are on the way. But we should wait. I say we get this over with. Surveillance reported that Smolnikov entered the building alone. You were saying? You were saying? <laughs> Guessed it. Alright, before I do anything, I am going to go ahead and save this, just in case. Uh, let's see here. I really needed that one, so... Yes. Okay. All right, it's about to get hot and heavy here. Get my gun out. Cook! Cover me. You got it. Shit! Or cover fire. Pick up the go. Gotcha, you son of a bitch. Bullseye! Booyah! Alright, so those bastards are out. He's dead. Well, what do you know? Same design as the symbol that was on the cargo in the tarragon excuse me tarragon we have here looks like the same payroll ledger as will be found on the tarragon itself too all right looks like we're clear here Stairs. Go. Oh shit. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Sucks to be you. to the main floor. I might as well do it anyway. Freeze! Ventilation! We'll need this guy. Don't move. Yapa dal in the bush tire. Cook, get down here, I've got him. I'm following you. Smolikov, I presume. You? Secure in the first floor. Okay, Mr. Smolikov. What gives? Why are you here? I've done nothing. You have no so right to say. come in here like this. This isn't Russia. Shut up. You're no, under America. arrest. I'll Miranda him. You secure the place. I spotted a 38 downstairs, back left corner. Take him in a moment. Right now. Okay, get back.
There we go. <sighs> Excuse me. Had a long day. Just grateful I'm doing my walkthrough again. Nope. Not that way. Ah, uh, this way. This must be the little parting gift Cook mentioned. It's probably the murder weapon. Which means I've got to go see a man about a gun. Seattle Crime Lab. See John Amos. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> How's it going? Good. How are you? You don't look so good. I don't feel so hot. What's wrong? I don't know. I think I'm coming down with the flu or something. What's up? I bring a gift. Hopefully it'll brighten your day. I suppose you want me to fire that. You guessed it. Great. My headache just went away. I'm sorry. You really don't feel good, do you? Nope. Well, I hang in there, man. Let's go. Sure enough, they all three match. Yep. Great. That's definitely the murder weapon. Thanks, man. I hope you're feeling better. Agreed. Now, time to grill Smolikov and find out why he killed Wong. Where the heck are Mulder and Scully? And speak of the devil. I thought I had to travel all the way up. Actually... You are right. It's a 38. And I bet you it's the same gun that killed Wong and shot Scully. Alright. Why did you kill Wong? Because he talked to us? What are you trying to hide? I didn't kill Wong. I knew him. He maybe did some work for me, but I didn't kill him. I can believe him on that, because the cigarette smoking man's cigarette was on the ground. So he's definitely not lying about that. Why did you kill that. the Terracons crew? I didn't kill nobody. They were my men. Why would I kill them? There was Cover a fire. Your tracks. Right. A fire you set afterwards to hide what you've done. I may be a smuggler, so are lots of people, but I didn't kill anybody. Okay. He seems adamant. Let's check this one. We have payroll logs from the Terracon that show that Wong worked for you. We found documents that match downstairs. So? That proves nothing. Proves you're involved, Smolikov. Don't deny it. What did you keep in that warehouse? What do you mean? You're in my warehouse. Really? So... There's more than one? You're right. It's a 38. It isn't my gun. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Where's the plutonium you were smuggling? What? I handle all sorts of things, but never that. You are talking crazy. Well, if I'm talking crazy, it's because I've seen crazy so far, small cough. All right, last one. Where are the FBI agents? What are you talking about? We found the woman's blood in your warehouse. What warehouse? You're in my warehouse. Your gun shot her. We have a forensics match. I kill no FBI agents. 
All right. Let's get him downtown and process him. Come on. Well, we'll interrogate him some more once we get this sorted out. He wasn't lying about who Local shot police just Wong, the way but around. let's go. Denied everything else. It's Amos. Hey, man. That boat you sent me onto was radioactive. What? That boat, the Terracon, had dangerously high levels of radioactivity. He sent me into a hot area. That's what's wrong with me. I don't have the flu. I have radiation sickness. Oh, oh shit, man. John, sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't know what to say. Just be more careful before you get somebody killed. Well, he doesn't seem too happy about that. Sorry, John. Didn't mean for that to happen, really. Oh, nice pain. Alright, time to get out of here. But that was pretty much the last thing I needed to do, honestly. Smolikov's guys are dead. Nothing left to do but to wait for the results of what happens to Smolikov himself. Seattle apartment. Good to be home. Hmm? What the hell were you thinking? Whoa. About what? About your little raid on the smugglers. I had turned that case over to the task force, and you two cowboys go running off shooting up a place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Phone I wasn't call. shooting up the place. You have it was any Cook idea who was doing that mostly. Cook called you. He did not. He did. He said he asked for SWAT backup, though they never did show up and we could have used the support. Look, don't lie to me. I'm not, Asadorian! Do you need to get that? No, the machine will pick up. I guess I just had you all wrong. No, you didn't! Agent Wilmore, we must meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are alive, but they won't That's be for much time. longer unless you act quickly. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, Hangar 4, Dawn. Come alone, or I won't show up. Well, I don't know what kind of ridiculous Twilight Zone BS that you're involved with. And you know what? Whoa. I don't care. I only came That's over cold. here to tell you one thing. Smolnikov was just released for lack of evidence. Got yourself a lot of explaining to do. So we pretty much just lost our Scully of the game. So let's go ahead and check back on our messages. Replay was last left. Hi, Craig. It's me. I I'm really sorry to bother you about this, but the ex-wife. The support check is late again. Did you send it? I know you're busy. Anyway, okay, he's getting on it. He's a busy guy. It's not like he's the Agent Wilmore, we must meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are alive, but they won't be for much longer so unless you act what happened quickly. To them. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, yeah, hang up for Dawn. Good feeling I'm about to find out soon. Come alone, enough. or I won't show up. So, right now, pretty much hit the hay. Go to this mysterious location in the morning. And we're at the end of day five. Sandpoint Hangar 4. 
know that voice sounds familiar, but I'm not quite sure who it is. This guy better have some answers. Well, this seems to be a appropriate spot for a secret meeting. Back where we were before. Let's try this one. Ooh. Now things are about to get interesting. Agent Rowe. Yes. I'm so glad to see that you took my advice and came along. Perhaps you're not as inept as I had thought. We have very little time, so I want you to listen Mr. to me carefully. X. The most important thing that you cannot tell anyone that I was here or that we spoke. No one in the Bureau. Not Cook, not Shanks, nor that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand me? Yes. I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore, or I won't help you. Typical, Mr. X. <sighs> All right, let's try this. Who are you? I have very little patience and even less time. Do I have your word? Okay, fine. You have my word. Good. Listen very carefully to what I have to tell you. Lives are at stake here. Including your own. Mulder and Scully are still alive. So you said. But they won't be much longer if you don't do something about it. Scully oh, and Mulder are not together. You need to find the Jane Doe that was checked into the Presbyterian Hospital in oh, Gold Bar three days ago. We have ago. a John Doe already. She's about now we got a released. Jane Doe? This has nothing, I repeat. Hopefully this one has a name. Nothing to do with smuggled Soviet plutonium. I've had a feeling that was the case. Listen to me. If you're going to help Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. Men have died in order to possess this. I'm going to loan it to you for a short time. Because without it, Thanks. there's no way that you could survive. I guess. The man that Mulder and Scully were looking for and the man that you need to find if you're going to save them can only be killed by inserting this blade into the base of his neck. Yeah. Who is he? This man is not what he seems. If the injury is not precise, he will kill you. Do not try firing a gun. Don't attempt to do anything except to use this. If anyone discovers that you have it, you're a dead man. Thank you, Mr. X. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Golba. Oh, I certainly won't, Mr. X. Yeah, my word on that. Okay, guys, I think this will be a good point to say that this is the end of part two of my walkthrough for the X Files game. I'm definitely looking forward to doing what probably will be my last part, and I'm already going to be working on putting number two of the recap in work just as soon as I'm done here so and I have a video that I've been working on very diligently but despite my work schedule it's been kind of delayed but I am close to being having that done and having it be posted <clears throat> being posted tomorrow morning or if not tomorrow afternoon so yeah definitely stay tuned that one will kind of give a kind of an explanation of what's happened 
sort happening to me in these last couple of months and uh, what's kind of going to be new with my channel. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that one. And I have some other projects that I'm also going to be working on as well. Um, I'm actually planning on doing a and the fact that this movie actually just came out less than just probably a week and a half ago. Um, the Hitman 47 film is now officially out on DVD and Blu-ray. So in the fact of its release, I really wanted to do a really good uh, in-depth comparison between um, the Hitman movie that came out back in 2000. Seven, if I'm not mistaken, and then of course the um, the newest one that came out last year. So definitely wanted to give my personal opinion on the fact of which one actually was more efficient to the video game series as a kind of a standalone film. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for also my other upcoming walkthroughs that I have in mind. I'm planning on doing a walkthrough of Deadpool in honor of the movie's release this week. So definitely stay tuned for that and so many others to come. Anyway, that's it for this walkthrough. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.